Yo, we're back. And I am still tired. If anything, I am more tired. It's weird how that works. Um, but let's not dilly dally. I'm intrigued to see what Area Zero is going to throw at us. Am I even going the right way? <laughs> Yeah, kinda. Yeah, see? No problem. Surprised we didn't need to get, like, permission from the director or something before going here. Hey, over here. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try and observe the inside of the great crater of Apalladia, uh, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down to the center. Oh, and speaking of the center, you know that Pokemon of yours? The one I gave you? Area Zero's Pano Kadoin was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy if it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside. Zero gate? Uh, I guess we should head in. The way home. <laughs> totally not ominous. I wonder if it's a case that you have to... I I'm assuming you have to use this to go between... Area Zero, and the rest. Well, kind of dark in here. <laughs> she just spawned in. All right, if it, I haven't said uh, there'll be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once we hear to uh, get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're not an old pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for, uh, for this. It's looking like a guy who, <laughs> who wants to get beaten in battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? Where the, where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? Uh, I turned them on. Seems like they're on power saving mode. Act into the system controls and override the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. I want it. Um, I guess. <laughs> My name's Penny. Oh, hey. We never actually talked. I'm Nimona from, uh, I'm in class 1A. What's coming to tech with kid? Do you like Pokemon Battle in 2? Um, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us, uh... When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny, here has agreed... Here also agreed in the second one, she heard it was to help if it. I'm not really the adventure type, but I owe you if it, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, <laughs> Evian. My love include... My love include Mazabif and Cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Ifrit. I've been expecting you. And it seems to gather a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada. Uh, student number blah. Penny, student number blah. I thank you for coming. Uh, such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, not in person exactly. Uh, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you to make your way down to the great uh, crater Pandela. 
Push the chamber using the elevator you see on the right. Um, ma'am? Please proceed below. Ugh. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. You okay, dude? Guess we better proceed below as requested. Uh, do we just keep spinning if <laughs> So why is this way? Uh, maybe it's broken, maybe it opens up at a time. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how big of an area Area Zero is actually going to be. Biometric identification in progress, identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Not quite, looks like uh, someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above Area Zero. Effort, you have all condoned with you? Yes. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Condone's gliding abilities, you should be able to send into the depths to reach zero, area zero. Wait, isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, do you say Condone, Condorion can fly? I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Oh, and stuff just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live. What Pokemon live down in Area Zero? Let's go. She's like incapable of fear or what? Hey, you okay? Hmm. Definitely something behind there. Oh. Feel like there's more we can do here. <laughs> uh, how far down do you think it goes? Yeah. Oh. I, th I thought we'd had time to talk to everyone, but okay. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Uh, no one needs to be if we go together. How does that logic work? I was gonna say it would be interesting if we didn't get this is <laughs> if we got separated from them for a bit and then you know we had to work our way down without having awesome mobility. There's a lot of light here for some reason. <laughs> um, aren't we missing someone? And now I'm back here again. I think I died once or twice there. You okay, bud? It chose to go back into its ball. 
probably just hung with something. Wait a sec. Where's the student council girl? She's gone. You don't think she... Evelyn, you have to see this. ABC was amazing. Go on already. I guess your ability <laughs> would be own tempo, huh? Uh, four humans identified. Uh, condition satisfactory. Uh, vital signs all within normal range. It appears you are able to make the descent without being harmed. Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who would have possibly complained about landing like that? That's good. I had concerns you might fail, but given the queerness of the only available the queerness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Uh, are you worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make a way to me at the lab zero at the deepest part of area zero. I I somehow f can't help feel that like she's like maybe even not her mo his mother but an AI or something. However, the entrance lab is barred by four locks. Installed on the extractor which I cannot unlock. Four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your own way down. I hope you succeed. Yeah, I can't help feel that this is something they trapped. <laughs> but once again, that's just me putting my crazy theory hat on. And reading too much into things. Before I was again to that lab. Sounds kind of video gaming when you say it out loud, huh? They just disappeared. Oh. Oh, you guys following me? That's kind of neat. I was kind of right about the whole not. Okay. I'll be able to use um, what's his face here. What level are we dealing with? Okay, fifty odds. Huh. I mean, it looks cool. Oh, we don't actually get a actual map to it either. Interesting. Oh. We to get out of here. Let's put by something hiding in the ball. Oh. I was trying to read the text. <laughs> also, it's music though. I can't fucking do anything right now. 
Just don't hit none of your business, Pipsqueak. Uh, I'm gonna have about it. It's calling you to venture. Let's just have a good time. Can I thank you? <laughs> Okay, so that's not the one we need to catch. I don't know how thorough I need to be. Leaf Storm. Like, I'm assuming that we can return here at some point with what's his face? I guess I'll keep it out for any Pokemon I don't have. We might just pseudo beeline towards wherever we need to go. Oh, I just realized these are the crystal stuff. Well, what? Right, this crystals in the trees or whatever is clearly the crystals we get for the territorializing or whatever. Shiny stone. Pump. A lot of gold ducks about. Well, side ducks. No, gold ducks. Probably should fight guys, but eh. Oh jeez. <laughs> Receive leave you be. Oh, yeah. Looks like I picked the wrong way to go. Excuse me, gentlemen. I take it it's um, Mal that's picking up the items for us. It's pretty neat. I mean, I suppose it's one nice thing about have been forced to run. <laughs> Instead of just ride, we actually have a chance to get Mal out and about. Do wonder what we're going to find down here, though. Dusk Stone. Something in the waterfall. I like how everyone else is just running up to it uh, quickly, but here I am. <laughs> Miles having a good time. Chancy. Oh, we don't have you yet. Uh, quick ball, go! Ah. Oh.
Um, do we just start throwing Ultra Balls and hope? Yeah, I guess. It's just what we do. <laughs> Pokemon then. Just from the behind. Uh, how do you wind up friends with different areas? Well, I guess he came through for me when I needed him. Everything was all going off the rules because it was a mess and my friendship. If it was a big help, all that sorted. Uh, Tackling all the gyms, that was really awesome. What about you? And I are classmates, neighbors back home too. Plus, he should aim for champion. Oh, the right there, you too. <laughs> I fight just on another level. What's with the Ifrit Club? When you say all that, I know, I all, we all know who's out of you through the best, bud. The EV backpack, but <laughs> but no, out of the three, it's it's I uh, Alvin, Alvin. I mean, I can't say his name, but he's got the most. He's the one I am most invested in, I guess. You know what would be what would be weird. Is if um, a lot of the Pokemon here are like the version exclusives? I mean, it would be interesting. And like potentially make sense lore wise, but semantics. Jeez, the amount of times I've almost run into a Pokemon. <laughs> Smile's still with us. I think he, he went back into his ball. Oh, hey. Getting close to our first lab. Oh, I bet that's what we were looking for. So we were in the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what's it called? Maddish rations. Research stations. Well, I was close. Wow, it's such a great memory, Penny. It's okay. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. <laughs> that's the Pokemon Lab Primary uses. I don't know that species could be found in the Great uh, Center. Does that mean I can't capture it? Ha, <laughs> mine's shiny. I can't catch it. Bullshit. Oh. Okay. Pokemon here, don't you think? Uh, do you think? You think that was something 
Please, you have no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. I should head inside the research station. Oh. The way we reacted there, I thought something was going on, but no, we, we just turned and gasped at nothing. I guess. <laughs> can I sneak past her? Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay. Wow, are these ancient ruins? Look far too recent for that. Please have research, uh, reached the first research station without incident. This was construct. This facility was constructed 87 years ago, as a way, as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. If we would be so kind to disable the first lock of the lab using the uh, central panel. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I'm always wary of any one who's contacting us, like in any game. Whenever someone's asking us to release something, like, and they're talk talking to us over communication, I'm like, eh, should we? I mean, obviously, yes. We gotta catch it, whatever it is. Determined that the energy crystallization is linked to the being we call blank. The interlocking hexagonal plates that corresponds blank shell must somehow cause this blanks oh this phenomenon which is dubbing, doubled teratilization or whatever. So once again, it's because of a Pokemon that ha we have the gimmick. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a uh, laboratory in the lighthouse near uh, Kadopoko. Someday though, I'll return to the center and resume my study of these crystals. You mile and rest your power if you're full of energy. Any... Uh, but the doors are busted, so yeah. This is going great. Well, I haven't worked here. Mm. You heard the <laughs> directive, better push it. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Yeah, don't worry. Something fishy going on for sure. Uh. So we can teleport if we wanted to. I okay. I know I keep going back and forth, but I just need to see: do they have like the old Gen One teleportation where they just spin around a bunch? Oh, <laughs> I was really hoping we get the. Can we go in here? We can. Huh.
Hmm. Oh god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's gonna put us at the top of this thing again, isn't it? I don't know why I didn't foresee that <laughs> happening. For some reason, Palmy was like, ah, oh, they're just gonna like tell us we can't go this way yet or whatever. I didn't think they would let us go back and then it'd be immediately at the start. But, oh well. Guess that's what I get for being an idiot. <laughs> I'll just blame it on the lack of sleep. Something for next time. <laughs> I mean, hopefully next time I won't be an idiot to start with and go back for whatever reason. Chancy. No, not at all. <laughs> also, I'm not willing to bet money when I'm tired and not of sound mind. Can we slide down here? Yeah, like a boss. Speaking of bosses. Oh. Get the <laughs> bubble! I was trying to get it. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I went with the super effective, but... You know what, the super effectiveness was fine. Ultra Ball, go! It is somewhat surprising we've not gotten the Master Ball yet. Oh well. Uh, a lot of its fingertips together, sparkle injured Pokemon assault. Even severe wounds will Ah Interesting. I I know we could go into that room and just heal, but I'm scared. Going into that room could lead to badness. <laughs> I'm too far away. To go back just for a TM that we probably have already or won't use. This is cool though. I know I've said that and I'll probably say it some more, but it do be cool. That's okay to the great creature who's trying to go see my mom. I got about this fun, I got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. What kind of Pokemon was it? it wasn't even Pokemon, more like a crazy violet man. I think. Sure it wasn't a Pokemon that looked more, I don't know. Just do it all together. Smythe. Do we want to do the thing again? Is that strong, huh? 
That's what I figured you'd say. You can make it down this, right? Well. we. <laughs> no, those are some really good boots. Oh, hey, you're just here as well. The second research station, about time two. Well, let's head in take, and take a breather. So you have a bit more stamina to even comes to go. Oh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <laughs> um <laughs> I mean I it's quite adorable. It is a shame that we can't actually catch them. Screamtail. I mean, these Pokemon have not been very smart at all. Also, it reminds me of Great Tusk. The one Titan we've already fought and caught. Seriously, what was that? Damn thing scared me half to death. It's definitely kind of ferocious for Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on. Let's get inside already. One more jump skin like that and I'm done for. <laughs> One more jump skin like that and I'm done for. Let's go into the creepy abandoned lab. Uh, I added the creepy part, but the abandoned lab nonetheless. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Uh, it seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be able to catch up breaths. What's with this place, that Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe the map Pokemon was one of these. What's that book? Zero team. Monster of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think of it? I think they're just Pokemon. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battles just like the Pokemon we know. So the time has come for an explanation. Professor. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in the distant past, long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? Oh, that's awesome. No way that's possible. Uh, the Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine! <laughs> uh. <laughs> No 
not gonna lie, part of me is like, holy shit, just massive Dino Crisis vibes suddenly. It summons the ancient power, uh, the ancient Pokemon to this place. Uh, researching down here. She actually got it working. The cost was uh, catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theor theoretically possible to travel to the past, however, for a being such as a human, it would be not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did he call us here to Area Zero? I mean, I... If possible, I'd like to speak... Us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'd be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, if it... Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on the lab. <laughs> At last, I can resume work on the terror project. Uh, I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influences of the crystal makes our experiments much more uns... Uh, geez, words. Unstable. Because they're just a sci-fi novel or something. Uh, but then who... Uh... It's incredible, I'm so glad I came here with you. Crystal powers from Normus. The unstable output made our corporate back its freight, but if we can harness this energy or open up research potentials that we've only dreamed of, alas, paradise will be ours to create. Also, <laughs> I know it was early on in this playthrough, it was all about time travel and Pokemon anyways. So I guess I called it before the game did? <laughs> well done. Please continue your efforts at uh, at the remaining research stations. Hey, for it. You know, that book she told me to bring, I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place, but I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Oh, cool. Uh, the book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it, okay? For me, okay? Uh, illustration notes for long ago. Oh, so you don't actually get to... <sighs> Lame game. Let's hope to read. It's also... Interesting, right? Like, right now it's hard to say one way or another. Was that gold, silver, and crystal? I, 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 I believe you. I just, I, I can't remember. How are your parents like Nemona? My parents normal, I guess. I see. This. Even if I know your dad, he's on board of the motor phone company. How do you know that? Everyone knows that he's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons too. Uh, Pampered Little Princess for a wish for me? No, 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 it's not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess the same mother and father were like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sis probably take over the business and pretty much left me to do whatever. Wait, you call them mother and father? Tch. Uh, my family is... on. Um, Believably annoying. Like super overprotective, you mean? Just my dad, he's loud and clingy and makes me like names. Uh, he's the worst. But your dad having his own daughter describe him like that. 
He did take his side. Uh, you met her? Yeah, we got a glimpse of the amazing look at sandwich you made too. Just gonna ignore the father side. Okay. Oh my god, we are actually... <laughs> we're actually the dad of all the Pokemon kids. All the generations. We go back in time. Except for Gen 3. <laughs> we got you, don't we? Do we? Yeah. We figured it out, guys. We are with the father all along. <laughs> Suddenly becoming a red dwarf joke. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize Volpirin was still with us. Or well, out. Didn't realize that they were trailing a bit. Okay then. Another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Sips is gonna drop power us again, 100% guaranteed. Funny, such a worry wart. Huh? Is it C? Wait a sec. It's just like the title Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? One of these before even? Looks seriously strong. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're not the pros when it comes to the Titans, leave it to us. <laughs> I like how it almost looked like he just ran away. Ooh, big ass cave. Great tusk. Uh, ice beam. See, victory is ours. Uh, maybe the one we saw when we, we, we were searching out the Mysterio Herb came from down here. Do you got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater together? Jealous. If we got these things from literal ancient times running around Pandela, it's a major problem. Isn't P Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Uh, it's not like also oh brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Let's head into that research station. Okay. Still, I still feel bad being like, oh, I wish we had more dungeons, but... It could have been interesting if we had some dungeons in the game that tied into the overall plot a bit more. But once again, I, I'm just feeling greedy asking for more in a way. Made to station number three. How are we doing after walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. Feeling rough, Bunny? Oh, no, it's not that. I've been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in ancient uh, Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Can... Koryadin? Isn't it likely that he also came from one of those ancient Pokemon? 
I don't know. Maybe he's from the future. Huh. Uh, give me off ancient vimes, especially the name sounds pasty. Wait a second. I totally forgot. Hey, Ivan. You had Coidian's ball and you told us about its forms in the first place. There's no something about it, right? You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Uh, I guess I have no choice then, but I'll tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Coridian, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. Maybe it would be best for me to take over the exploration at this point. Professor. Coridian, which I interested to Ifrid, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Okay. Seriously? There were analyses of its genetic makeup. Through anal analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of a Silazar, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. That makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many of the Pokemon that came to this place from across the boundaries of time. We were never to bring back more than two specimens of Kandorian. There's another one around here somewhere. Wait, if they found me, the other ones could still be somewhere in there. Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with Kandorian. Heart Woman Family Reunion. How thrilled it'll be if we can get family back together after all this time. <laughs> I love how we just look very blank. That sounds nice. If we could proceed with it, please disable the next lock in the central panel there. Time machine research has yielded a triumph of Pokemon from ancient times. I've named it Kandorian. Uh, I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what a fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. So I'm assuming the one new life to treasure was Avian? Avian? I'm so I'm so great at remembering names and how to pronounce stuff. I almost missed that book. Well done. Only one more now. Please continue to the final research station. Uh, I've successfully brought more and more ancient Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book, a paradise where three can live. My three can live happily together forever. I must make it real. My three can live... Hmm. Plot twists really tug on my heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. I can't leave any wild Pokemon to me. I'll beat them up in no time so we can match on. If that other Pokemon really is the only family that it has left in the world, it must want to be together again, right? Mm. Also, I was expecting more security stuff. Penny hasn't really done much other than turn the lights on. <laughs> Not to downplay her. Uh, so no one has seen if it, you got let me battle Kadori right now. No. Still won't come out of the ball. Plus, it still doesn't want to fight. Hmm. Move together in Lighthouse Lab for a while. My main proposed to keep it secret and I had to take care of it for her too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Kandorian just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. Uh, I ended up seeing it and the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense if the Pokemon was from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, it would be all over the news. I don't see my mom Kandorian again after for ages. Looking back now, it seems stupid, but... I felt like I had lost my mom because Kadorian was the worst feeling. I just hated Kadorian and everything about it and didn't even want to talk about it. Sorry for not telling you about this sooner, if it. Uh, you should be sorry, shoot. That's the coolest thing and you didn't even tell us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be great to know all that relevant info before. Okay, now that you stop stopped talking, I can concentrate on catching this cool ass Jigglypuff. <laughs> Yeah, 
you know, the slightly more important pressing matters. Catching the cool last Jigglypuff. A fairy psychic? Uh... Scream tail. Huh. The scene. None of you had done done spars, are you? No. Because if I can just catch one of them, saves me some extra time. Oh. No, we've got you. You on you. You also level. Whoa, jeez. You also level sixty. So, <laughs> really feel like maybe I should start actually fighting wild Pokemon to level up a bit. Hostile Pokemon. Huh. <laughs> we are also slightly getting swamped. Damn it. Oh well. I got my wish to do some more fighting, I guess. <laughs> Make a run for it. Ooh. Oh, there's another lab. Oh my gosh, look at the huge, gorgeous crystals that go all the way down to the bottom. There's like buildings down there? I mean, I guess that could be like more lab. I'm so hoping you can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down here somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine, totally fine. My team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of the thing. Looks so real. Maybe there really is treasure down here. Like just like the story stay. <laughs> like how she says, uh, yeah, there's apparently a time machine waiting for us down there. Slightly more vital than treasure. This place <laughs> This place is like something up from a whole other world. It makes you feel maybe you already died and went somewhere. This is me all do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon territory lies? Got with some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Uh, let's keep moving. We got go all the way down. Uh, true. Um. Also, just. Time machine in general can net you a lot of money. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's also going to be really hard for me to not. For me to not think of it, like, compare any time machine shenanigans to how it's done in Steins Gate. Because the way it's handled in Steins Gate and Steins Gate Zero is just, it's just really good. Uh, all open up the crystal palace of fire beams on its body. Like, you're, you're not... 
See, Back to the Future is good, but Back to the Future has flaws in it and how it handles its time machine mechanics. I mean, don't get me wrong. So does, um, what's it called? Uh, Steins Gate. It's just, I feel like, what? Oh, you're the Jiggly Puff. Just from behind. I just, like, feel that Steins Gate does a really good job of it. The Dun Space. <laughs> and uh, I'll also just add, I'm talking about the actual visual novels, not the anime. Um, the visual novels does a... I mean, the anime does a pretty good job as well for the first season. But still. Came to our age through a time machine. I lived for a while with a professor along with other kind. That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or is it second home, at least? Guess this place should feel familiar for sure. And bask in the vicinity. Uh, drive spooky. Come out of the ball anytime soon, either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Who knows? Who said it was scared of heights? Uh, it's acting near. I think it was just bad was going to happen to it. Uh, place you get bad memories. You know, happy to be ignored by everyone in class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away. Something just feels. Hmm. Uh, makes me feel want to do something to be about it. I'm not just saying that because I'm super badly one about condoning myself. Unbelievable. Mostly in a good way. Mostly. I think we have to go this way? I mean, I finally got my cave. No zoo bats, so is it really a cave? But, can't complain, I suppose. Also, it, it is a bit of a shame that the... I mean, th th this would be hard to do anyways, but could you imagine if this game, or this area in particular, was light lit better? Like, much darker, but actually get lit by the crystals, other than just have generic light for light level for the entire... The ambient light level, there we go. For the entire area is the same. Ah. What happened to this place? It's such a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again. Hmm. Hello, children. Hello, hello. Stop that. You're creeping us out. Initialize and restart. Person must be having some some weird connection problems or something. Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like I don't know. She meant it was a joke. It wasn't funny. Still got goosebumps after all.
Uh, have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. Uh, maybe some folks should Pokemon battled here. I was almost like, no, it can't be. Mew too. No, I want to read the book. I need more people, more time. That man walked out not too long after the boy. That man walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but they could. But could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If, n if only there were two of me. Hmm. <laughs> My new assistant has intellect and techni technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigged at times, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We brought in a second Kondorian via the machine, though this one has proved aggressive. Hmm. Hmm, sure. All locks disabled. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. Seems to be signaling for influence. That's not what that was. What do you mean? Locks have been disabled at last. Please make your way uh, now to Lab Zero, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. And with that interesting note, we're going to take a quick break. Cliffhangers!